Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect to GitHub from Visual Studio Code. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to open the Google Chrome browser and I will download and install Git on my system on my Windows machine. So download uh, Git, I will type and I will click this link. Since I'm using the Windows machine, I will click Windows. I will choose this 64 bit for Windows setup. Okay. This will start the download process. So I already have the file, the exe file in my system. I'm going to cancel it. So let me just cancel it and quickly open the exe file. Okay. And now click yes. And afterwards you have to click next. Okay. This is where it will be installed. Click next. Okay. Next. Uh, next. Okay. Okay. Now this is important. So I'm going to choose use Visual Studio Code as Git default editor okay i will pick this option click next 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 okay all other options will be same no change click next and install uh, this will start the installation process and it will take a while to complete Okay, uncheck this option, click finish. So the next step is to open the Visual Studio code and clone the repository, okay? So now in order to clone a repository, I'm going to press Control, Shift and P and type git clone. Okay, this is what I'm going to click. And then clone from GitHub, yes, allow. And this is going to authenticate. So I have to provide my username and password, click sign in. And now click continue. Now next step. Okay. This is going to display me all the repository that are there in my account. Now let me just open my GitHub account. Okay. These are the repositories uh, that exist in my account. Now I'm going to connect to this repository Cognos dataset. So let me select this one Cognos dataset repository. This one, the first one. Okay. And uh, select a repository destination so I have to select a, a destination folder where I'm going to clone it so I'm going to clone it in my local system so I have created a folder with name git 2025 select a destination folder okay now open open a folder now the next step is to set up your git username and password so in order to do that you have to uh, go and open the terminal. You have to open the command prompt from here. Okay. And you have to type these commands. This one is my username and this one is my email. Okay. Now let me show you my user. This one is my user. Now just uh, uh, copy and paste the command over here. You just need to replace your username and your email. Okay. Now. Just copy control C and paste this command over here and press enter. So I'm going to provide these commands to you in the below description. You just need to change the username and email. I'm going to copy the second command and enter. Okay. This is how you set up your username and email. Now the next step is to go to the source control okay now this is my source control now i'm going to do some changes so i'm going to do some changes in my sample dataset.csv what changes i'm going to do i'm going to change the column name from gender to employee gender let me just change it employee underscore gender and i'm going to save this file okay once this file is saved i'm going to cancel it and now is the time to do commit operation okay so I want to commit and push. So click yes. Okay. Now this is my first change. Okay. Now I have to click this accept commit message. Save. Okay. Commit and push. Sign it in with your browser. Yes. I'm going to sign it with, with authentication succeeded. Now let's see what changes I'm going to have in my repository. 
ओके इज देर एनी थिंग नाव लुक दिस इज माई फर्स्ट चेंज सैम्पल अंडर स्कोर डेटा डॉट सी एस वी दिस इज वट हैव गॉट इफ यू लुक एट दी कॉलम इम्प्लॉय अंडर स्कोर जेंडर ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कनेक्ट विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड टू योर गेट हब रिपोजिट्रीज आई होप यू हैव गोन थ्रू द प्रोसेस थैंक यू सो मच एंड हैव अ ग्रेट लर्निंग